Titan Comics and writer Jim Zub embark on an eon-spanning adventure when Robert E. Howard's greatest creations gather to battle the Eye of the Black Stone. Which characters will survive and who will meet their end by the gaze of the Black Stone's eye? Let's find out in our review of Conan Battle of the Black Stone number one from Titan Comics. See you in three. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Conan Battle of the Black Stone number one. Holy crap, what is this? <laughs> we knew Titan and Jim Zub were cooking up something special. Still, we never imagined they would follow up last week's spectacular The Savage Sword of Conan number four with a story that takes all those characters, adds one more for good measure, and bands them all together for an adventure that defines the word epic pretty much at every level. This is something special. Conan Battle of the Blackstone number one begins with an unexpected visit to 1936 Chicago. Professors John Kirwan and John Conrad have come to the very exclusive annual meeting of the Wanderers Club to hobnob with their fellow explorers and truth seekers. This time, however, they've come seeking information from one specific attendee, Francis Xavier Gordon, also known as El Barak. What is the information they seek? Kirwan and Conrad want to know what El Barak can tell them about a mysterious sigil they found in Egypt that matches a marking in El Barak's previous notes. Upon seeing the sigil, El Barak is struck by an intense reaction. If it wasn't obvious, this issue picks up directly from the prologue that was in last week's Savage Sword of Conan number 4. Conan is compelled to find the sigil and possibly destroy it, even if he's somewhat empowered by it. Jim Zub doesn't spill the beans too early about the nature of the sigil's power, but it's clear the sigil seeks out individuals with strength in mind and body. So you're struck with the realization that the sigil is a dark, unsleeping force, very similar to the dark ones of Lovecraftian lore. To be clear, this isn't a horror comic in the traditional sense, but Zub captures that sense of timeless evil endemic to Lovecraft's stories. Now we get to the good stuff. What follows is a montage of quick scenes showing other Robert E. Howard characters as they encounter the sigil's strange pull. Author James Allison feels the sigil's presence looking over his shoulder in 1936 Texas. Dark Agnes feels confused over winning a sword fight she can't remember when the sigil inflamed her senses in 1522 France. Solomon Kane hears, heeds the call to root out and destroy the source of the sigil's evil in 1584 Africa. And now, or at least now, back then, El Barak in 1936 Chicago warns his visitors to stop researching the sigil because they're not ready for the battle to come. Yep, you heard all that right. All the characters who were given a short story to shine and remind a new generation of readers about their existence in last week's The Savage Sword of Conan number 4 have been brought in to join the fight. Robert E. Howard fans are going to have a field day with this miniseries. Suddenly, the Wanderers Club erupts in chaos when a stone in a nearby glass case begins to vibrate and hum with a malignant green energy. In the past, Conan finds the source of the sigils called Deep in Pictlin Territory. He finds a cave with the sigil painted over its mouth, guarded by battle-hardened Pictish warriors. Conan feels compelled to attack, and for a time he holds his own, but the numbers are too great. When it seems Conan is about to be struck down, however, the scene erupts in green fire. The issue concludes with the sigil spewing green fire across time and space, claiming at least one hero. The rest of the heroes join together in a shared vision, possibly for a call to battle, and a beginning of the end. Overall, Conan Battle of the Blackstone number 1 will knock the socks off Robert E. Howard fans. Jim Zub has stated more than once that Titan locked him into a three-year contract. At this rate, Titan should reconsider and double it because getting excited about a comic is a rare thing these days. A rare thing indeed. And if we can get it from Conan, we'll take it. Let's switch gears and talk about the art for a second. Readers may not know the name Jonas Scharf, but we've encountered him before. Uh, recently in the issue Deal Breaker number 1 from Evolution Publishing. Scharf does an admirable job of capturing the look and feel of the characters across multiple eras while incorporating a heavy amount of moody shadows and dramatic silhouettes to emphasize the Lovecraftian nature of the story. Of course, we're fans of Robert Dillator's Golden Age aesthetic on the main Conan series, but Scharf's sharp edges and detailed contours are an excellent complement to Zub's story. Let's take a step back and talk about the big picture for a second. You may have recognized all the names that were mentioned in the montage of different Howard characters, but there's one that stood out that didn't appear in last week's Savage Sword of Conan number four. It's James Allison. If you're a Howard fan, you know the name, but in case you don't, he's a fictional author who has an extensive recollection of his past lives. So his, his mythology is very steeped in reincarnation. 
and he uses that knowledge for his adventures. For DC readers, imagine Hawkman without the wings. But Allison does make a, an appearance here, and his presence is prominent. Final thoughts, what do we think about Conan Battle of the Blackstone number one? It marks what could be the beginning of Titans and Jim Zub's creation of a Robert E. Howard universe, when a collective of heroes across time are called to join Conan in battle against the Blackstone's evil. Jim Zub infuses his story with an undeniable passion to extend Howard's legacy, and Jonah Sharp's sharp atmospheric art is first rate. If you love Conan, if you love Solomon Kane, if you love any and all of those characters in that pulp era of adventure storytelling, this is a top-notch, first-class, grade-A comic. You will love it. Therefore, Conan, The Battle of the Black Stone, number one, earns a well-earned 10 out of 10. This comic is amazing, and Robert E. Howard fans are just going to love it. But what do you think? Are you a Robert E. Howard fan, and are you looking forward to this miniseries? Leave a thumbs up if you are, and tell us in the comments below which Robert E. Howard character needs more attention in this series. Or maybe even their one-shot. Or maybe even their own miniseries. Also remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review and buy this comic to help support the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining, and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.